Uh, Sean John, he's a friend of mine But I can't wear his clothes up at 109 You gotta check the clock, cause now it's time And IS 109's about to shine Sean John, he's a friend of mine But I can't wear his clothes up at 109 You gotta check the clock, cause now it's time And IS 109's about to shine So how does this relate to hip hop? Listen, after we didn't blink I engage the students in a dialogue because I, I didn't just want to imp, in, impose on them a rule without develop, developing an understanding. So I gave an, I asked the students to tell me why they didn't want to wear uniforms. And they told me that the main reason was that I was taking away their individuality. And my response was, I don't see any individuality because you wear the same white t-shirts, the same pants halfway down your behind, the same uh, beltless pants. You, you wear the same, uh, what the students would say is an ice grill, a screw face um, on your face, facial expression. I said, you wear the same do-rags. I said, so you're wearing a uniform. You're wearing a uniform that's been marketed to you by pop culture because your favorite artists represent themselves in that way. So someone is telling you that this is what success looks like because you watch your, 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 your famous rapper who has killed 1,500 people but is not in jail and lives in a huge house somewhere on, and you get a chance to see this on MTV Cribs. So you say, hey, I'm gonna be a gangster rapper and I'm gonna do these things, but you're not really looking at the real consequences of your actions. And I'm not saying that, that, that anybody who represents that is not, that's not real to them because some people have had real experiences like that. Unfortunately, it seems like that is the standard that is being presented as realism for our children. So I, after, we, after we discussed this, I said, you know, we're gonna make our own rap song. It started off as a song. I said, we're going to make uniforms the, the, the cool thing, and we're going to make not wearing uniforms uncool. We doing good things, wearing all uniforms. Yellow, white, and blue, don't let the be torn. Make it thin, y'all, let it be clean. Go to class, come on, man, don't be a fool. Cause when I grow up, I want to be smart. Using my mind, man, I work at Kmart. I want to be a lawyer and actress. Many pediatrician, cause that's my mission. You know, helping kids around the world. White, black, and Spanish boys and girls. This is the new 109, and we gotta shine, cause we can't be wasting our time. Excellence, that gotta be our motivation, cause y'all know we the next generation. And I said, uh, and, and uh, we're gonna you know, learn how to make the music, budget it, market it, and do all these things. I had no idea. <laughs> how to accomplish this, I was just talking. And the student, but the student's reaction was so, so, so positive and overwhelming that I had to now figure out how to uh, make this happen because again, there goes that word credibility. It works, it, it, the pendulum swings both ways. When you make a rule and you don't enforce it, you lose credibility. But if you make a promise, that's even a worse kind of a credibility thing to a child. When you tell a child, I'm going to do something and then you don't deliver, they lose faith. So I was fortunate enough to have a gentleman in uh, my school, a gentleman by the name of Anthony Johnson, and he said to me, hey, I make, I make music. And I was like, just, just, just coach my basketball team. Because <laughs> he was a, a basketball star. And he says, no, really, I make music. And I found out the guy was a phenomenal producer. So that was one problem solved right there. And, he, and so we brought in some equipment in, in, into the school, and we made our first CD in the school. This, we made the classroom the studio and the studio the classroom. And it was phenomenal. Um, the next year we, um, we uh, uh, reached out to a couple of production companies. Um, Drama Production was one, Producers Project was the other. And um, I told them about, I said I want to make you know this video, this rap video, you know, to give imagery to what we're talking about in this song. And we collaborated, we got together, and it was, it was a beautiful partnership. And we were able to make three videos and three different documentaries, two of them which ended up going to the Tribeca Film Festival, and one which was used for at least two years as a national model for HBO's family channel in terms of what a, a school can do. 